Hi hey folks, Robert here. And I had another question about railing and this circular stair pattern that Mr. Kine made. Uh, how you doing, sir? Uh, sorry to get back to you so slowly, but I had difficulty with this one. This is very tricky. You know, you wanted to make the stairs, you wanted a glass balustrade here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I would do here. Uh, so I'm going to leave yours here and I'm going to go into the level one and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy yours over to here. And, okay. There. So we go back into 3D view. Now we have those two sets of stairs. So what I'm going to do for this one here, I want to delete this dial straight out totally. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make just a circular stair. Uh, I haven't worked out how you get the these, uh, I don't know what these are, just railing here. So what I did here to do a, just a, a, a glass uh, balustrade or railing or guardrail, whatever you call it, I just did this here. I would, let me move this over a little bit more. Doing this view, if I can. Actually, what I want, well, I'll just delete it. Well, I'll move it. This one was kind of hard for me because this is very complex uh, geometry. So, here, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to um, take this guy, just shift it around, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, a mass. So, I'm going to go to uh, it's going to be an in-place mass form. So when you get stuff really tricky, then you can start going in-place and massing. So I'm going to go uh, architecture, component, model in place. And then I'll go here to mass and say OK. And you can call this whatever you want. Go OK. So now I'm in my uh, massing. So what I want to do here, I want to go and just basically go to my 3D spline points. A spline would be best for this. And so here I'll go and just take a point at the tip of each stair. Just go all the way up to here. I want to just take this to the first landing. Go up. So there, there, and there. Now I have it my first line. So now here we want to go into this view and look at this. So let's go into a let's cancel that out. Now let's go into an elevation view, an east elevation because we want to copy this down so I could just select it here hit copy and this is my base point and I'll copy this just down to here okay now we have that copy down and then the next thing we want to do just so we can get the smooth curve and everything aligned I want to do another one I want to copy this once again and then I want to copy this one at this point right here up to over there height. Let me, I think here in the US we got 42 inches or 3 feet 6 and copy it. So now there we're creating a form here. Now, so the next thing we want to do, we want to draw a line from here to here. So when we draw this line, we go from here. Oh, I'm sorry, not that one. Draw a line. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, we need to be in our 3D view. We're going to go back to 3D here. Right. So let's just bring this around here, shift it over. I kind of like the, well, this is okay. So now what I'll do is I want to draw this line. 
in 3D and we need to make sure this is on. 3D snapping is on. So we'll go to this point and snap to it. And snap to this point right here. Okay, and then we'll go up to the top here. We'll snap to that bottom point and this point right here. And once we have everything in place, I'll cancel that out. Then I want to go finish. Okay, we don't care about that. And then there's our our shape. So now we'll select this and we'll let's see, we'll select this guy. Edit this. We can edit this guy too. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my site and massing. First we're gonna select this. Okay, one second yet. Yeah. Just want to back this up a little bit for a minute. Okay. Okay, I want to go here. I want to create this last line. There's a, I think I skipped a step here, so I want to hit that point and that point. And then at this point, I want to create a form here. It'll be solid form. Close. Okay, one second. Select this. Create solid form. And there. There's our form. And we'll click finish. So this is, a, I mean, this is the best I could do with this question you gave me. Because I'm, I'm really, I don't know if I understand it. But I've got your glass balustrade here. And it's using in place families and massing. So when you get really tricky stuff, you want to use massing. And now here, I can go here and I can go to site and massing now. And I'll select this. And one second, massing in site. And we will make this a wall. And let's change the material on it. So, um, I would probably create something. So, I will change it to this one. So, that's how you would change the materials on it. And then you can also duplicate this. So, I don't know if this is answers your question, but that's how I would do this glass railing, circular and smooth. I would use in place massing. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye for now. Be safe, folks.